In this video, we're checking out a classic truck boneyard with mostly Chevrolet, but a few other cool trucks thrown in the mix. In last week's video, we watched as Denny George drug out a 38 Ford Coupe that had been sitting for no telling how long, decades in somebody's backyard. But while we were there, we checked out some of the other stuff that was also stashed away in this yard. And it was just an absolute boneyard for old Chevrolet pickups. One of the first things we noticed was actually not a Chevrolet truck. This is an old Jeep Renegade. Now, I used to see these things on the road all the time, but you really don't see this model of Jeep out and about anymore. You see tons of new Jeeps, but not this vintage Jeep Renegade like this. And it's that classic brown with the gold stripes. Now this one really got my attention. This is a 47 to 55 truck cab, and somebody has really aggressively chopped the top on it. You can see the windows are super small, sort of that mail slot effect on the side glass here. Uh, but somebody's done a lot of metal work on the door frames. They've done, you know, part of the job. Maybe somewhere down the road, they'll pick up where they left off and go ahead and finish this roof. You could make a killer hot rod pickup with this chopped cab. Moving along, we see an earlier 40s truck cab, and it looks like it's sitting on an S10 frame, which is a pretty popular swap for these old pickup trucks. It's pretty much a direct swap over and you can instantly lower your truck, have a V8, have five lug wheels, have disc brakes. You know, it's kind of a no brainer for some of these rat rod type builds. As I was headed up the hill to check out some more trucks, I noticed this axle that probably came out of a three quarter ton or a ton truck. I'm not real sure, it's big axle, but the tires is what got my attention. Check out these studs that have been put in these tires. Now this is how the mountain boys get around in the mud. Now we're looking at a 47 to about 53 commercial truck, but then in front of it is a very nice buildable truck. You'll see it's got a little bit of rust, but somebody's actually already started on this project. You can see it sits a little lower than stock, and it's also got five lug wheels, where this would have originally had six lug wheels on it. You can see it's got uh, Pontiac Rally 2 wheels on it, and this looks like a pretty feasible project. You can make a pretty cool driver out of this one. As we're walking through, we see another 40s commercial truck. Um, and then we see a C10 step side. And as you'll notice, the wheels are kind of tucked way in. And I'm guessing, I didn't actually crawl under it and look, but I'm guessing that's an S10 frame under this truck as well. Parked behind is a square body crew cab. That's a pretty hard truck to find. And then there's some type of frame right here as well, but you can see on the back section of the frame, it's been cut and narrowed. And that tells me that it was a, underneath a pro street truck probably. Over in this section of the yard, there are several 40s and 50s cabs, frames, different parts and pieces, hoods, grills, fenders, just kind of scattered everywhere. And this is also where that 38 Ford was sitting. So if you haven't seen that video on that car, I suggest you go check that out now. But as we make our way around, we see some pretty cool commercial trucks. You'll see that this cab over truck, this is a really cool piece. Now this could make a cool car hauler. You can make a cool flatbed truck out of it. There's a lot of options with a truck like this. This thing just looks super cool. And there's other commercial trucks back here too. You can see this one cab right here. Uh, on the back of the cab, it's actually got a spotlight, sort of like what you'd see on a police car back in the day. And I'm assuming that means that this was a wrecker at some point. So the guy would have that light for hooking up the car in the dark. Or Here we got another three window cab. And then back in behind it is a five window cab that looks like it's served as a parts truck. It's pretty much stripped out. And you can see somebody has cut part of the roof out to kind of rob that little crowned area, which is a really hard place to fabricate if you were having to build something like that. But looks like he's got plenty of parts trucks out here to kind of scavenge some of these pieces off of. One of the few non-Chevrolets in this collection is this International Scout. It's just got a cool look to it. It's not something that you see very often. Uh, but another cool thing, right down here on the fender, you can see that it's got a badge that says diesel. So this was a factory diesel International Harvester Scout pickup truck. Pretty cool piece.
So that pretty much does it for this classic truck boneyard. I hope you enjoyed walking around and checking out some of the old school trucks and hot rod projects. It was a lot of fun for me. Thank you for watching.